If you guys remember, I was working on this Cummins ISX engine out of this Peterbilt. Um, and uh, I show you how the problem was inside the combustion chamber. The cylinder head was leaking coolant. So now finally I got the cylinder head completely off and I have it right here with me to show you how it looks after we got it out. Uh, remember then these trucks had a problem that was blowing a lot of uh, compression to the exhaust, a lot of uh, leak of the compression to the exhaust and uh, the engine was overheating too, that's what the owner told. Uh, if you know, if I mean, if you notice, you can pay attention to the cylinder head. You can see that the cylinder head was replaced. It doesn't look uh, with the red color of Cummins, right? And you can see this color, this uh, corrosion uh, color is normal because the paint is completely gone. But uh, you can clearly see how the cylinder head looks. It looks clean. So. Um, the owner say he replaced it like one year ago, so it's, it's, it's very bad that this happened to this engine. Anyway, uh, the cylinder head had the problem on cylinder number six, and cylinder number six is going to be the last one over there. This is the front of the head that is going to be, and this is the reason why I have the cylinder head in this position. So what I'm going to show you right now is how this cylinder head looks. Um, once it's cracked. Uh, this is the surface that is in contact with the cylinder block and each cylinder. You can see the lines of the cylinder around. Um, but uh, the problem was in cylinder number six and you can clearly see this ball over here that is completely pushed in. See these other ones? This is the way they supposed to look, but this one looks pressed in. So, uh, the reason why is because the seat of the ball is uh, making pressure and it got pushed inside because of the piece, um, because of the, the spring. If you pay attention to the springs on this side, uh, on this side of the head, you can see that one of them looks higher than the other one. See, this is the spring and the ball. See, this one looks higher than this one. And it's because of that, because the ball uh, seat is a little higher. And that happened because of this, because of we have a cracked cylinder head. See, this is a crack on the cylinder head. I don't know if you guys can see it. We're gonna put the light a little closer, like this. So you can clearly see the line then goes across on this area between the balls. This is what the crack is and there is some material then got released from the head and hit the bolts and the cylinder head surface you can see this damage over here there is damage here there is damage here too so all that is because of this uh, problem over here also you can see other cracks you can see one crack here too you can see the line and we have another one right here too. So these three cracks in total. So uh, if this ball uh, was going to have this problem and uh, you didn't take care of this problem on time, this other one will suffer the same problem and this other one as well, until you get the three balls in the same issue. Um, there is no way to fix this there is no way to repair this problem because the cylinder head is already bad, it is cracked. There is no way they can weld this and repair it. You have to buy a brand new cylinder head. And this one is not accepted as a core because there is uh, damage. Then is no uh, possible to repair. So this will lead to the problem then is then you have to buy a new cylinder head and when you buy a new cylinder head, you have to pay the core charge. You have to buy the head and then you have to pay for the core because this core is not acceptable. Um, and um, I talk about the reason why this happened. And if you don't remember, and if you haven't seen that video, the reason why this happened is because 
the owner of this truck did the DPF delete. So when you do the DPF delete, this is the consequence and you get on comments ISX. Detroit seems to be a little different with the uh, consequences, but on Detroit, I mean on comments, you get this problem. Cylinder head cracks um, and um, it creates problems like uh, overheating for no reason, engine overheats. Um, the exhaust is uh, the the compression is leading to the exhaust or the intake depending, and the engine is not working stable. There is no compression in the cylinder because of the same problem, the cylinder head. The cylinder head causes all this problem, but the cylinder head doesn't cause the problem because of the cylinder head is bad. It causes the problem because of the DPF delete. The DPF delete actually does more than just uh, deleting the system to the Cummins ISX. He actually gives freedom to the engine and when he gives freedom to the engine, he destroys components. And in this case, the weakest component on the Cummins ISX is the cylinder head. And that is the reason why this engine suffer this problem. And uh, as I say in my other video, we, can, we are going to replace this problem. We are, we are going to fix this problem. We're gonna replace the cylinder head but this doesn't mean that this problem will go away. This problem will come back because still the truck has what is the DPF delete. Not until you go back to the uh, DPF system, the regular OEM system and the vehicle was equipped from factory, then this problem will go away, but that will be super expensive after you spend so much money deleting the system and then you go back to where it was is going to take a lot of money. But uh, here we have the demonstration on what is the cause of the problem. My previous video, I show how to find the cause of the problem. In this video, I'm showing you how it looks once we have everything out. And uh, if you suffer this problem, I mean, it will be hard because uh, you will have to remove the head and spend like ten thousand dollars just in the head and that will be very expensive but uh, there is no other way to fix it it is just one way that is replacing the head or you can just uh, buy another truck that has the dps system and forget about this truck something like that but um I'm, i know many of you don't have that as an option so you will prefer to fix this truck instead in spending in spending money on the dpf but uh this is just uh what i have for you right now this is going this is going to be the second part of the other video basically but uh i think in resume the moral of this video will be if you repl if you delete the DPF system thinking that you're gonna save money, you are not. You still gonna spend money, and here we have the example of it. Uh, cylinder heading is cracked, and it's gonna be expensive. It's pretty much the same money you wanna spend on a DPF. Anyway, uh, this is all we have for you right now. If you have any questions about the video? Comment below. Uh, experiences about these problems if you have this problem if you experience this problem before a cylinder head and had the same issue probably you can comment that probably your problem was caused for a different reason and if it was please just comment right there that will be very helpful for other people even for me to know why the problem happened to you that, w that way we can all learn different things make this video informative is better so that way we can uh, learn things then probably we don't know also if you wanna ask me something directly go to instagram look for me francisco maya youtube i have uh, the ability to answer to your questions directly and just be patient at the moment i will try to get as fast as i can to you i have other questions then i try i have to reply but i will get to you if you wanna send support to the channel go to the description of the video i have details how to send support to the channel and um, that way we can create content like this for all of you that want to learn more or want to see how a problem is caused or fixed so as always like to like like the video comment share it and thank you for watching